In today's video, I'm going to show you how to introduce dynamic subtraction with the Montessori stamp game. So here I just have a printout of some um, problems on grid paper. Um, there are problems in the thousands labeled thousands, hundreds, tens, and units or ones. And I have some also some problems in the hundreds, so they're also labeled up at the top. I have some room above to record the exchanges and um, a defined space for the answer. So let's actually start with this problem, 823 minus 91. So we start by building the menu end with the stamp game. So 800, Two tens, three ones. And some people prefer the ter term ones, some people prefer the term units. I use them interchangeably. Okay, and we're going to subtract from that the subtrahend, and we always start with the, the ones place or the units, and we're taking one away, and we have two left. So we're, we'll record that here. Now we move to the tens place, and we need to take nine tens away, but we don't have enough. We only have two. So remember, we can um, exchange 100 for 10 tens. Now, if a student doesn't understand that concept or is having a hard time with that, you can remind them of when, you, um, when they worked with the golden beads or the base 10 blocks. So there are 10 of these tens in 100. And you can bring that material out and do some review lessons. You can show them. You can have them counted out. Um, so that's the concept behind that. So we'll take this um, 100 and we'll put it back in the bank. And I like to have students count out into their hands. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, tens are what we get. And I also like to have that separated. So we'll have, let's move this down a little bit. Um, we'll have our 10 tens that we got when we exchanged our 100 up here. And I do that just to make sure that they've counted correctly and so that they can see what's going on. Okay, so now let's record on our paper the exchange we made. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundreds now instead of eight. So we'll cross out that eight and put a seven in the hundreds place. And we don't have two tens anymore. Remember, we got two, we got ten from the bank, and we added that to our two that we already had. So ten, eleven, twelve. So we can cross out that two and make it a twelve. All right, now at first, um, I do actually um, cross the two out and write a 12 up here, but eventually children will notice the pattern that that two or whatever digit is here is going to remain the same. And so then eventually they can write it just right by that um, digit that's printed. But this really helps them to see what's happening. Um, okay, so now we can combine everything and we can take nine away. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and we'll put those back in the bank and see what we have left. We have three tens left. And in the hundreds place, we have seven minus nothing. So we'll leave that. So 823 minus 91 left, up, left, left us a difference. Oh, I forgot to record my seven here because I have seven hundreds of 732 or seven hundreds, three tens, two ones. All right, and that is the lesson.